In this video, I'm going to show you how to replace the front driver's side CV axle on this Ford Escape. Let's get into it. We're going to remove the lug nuts, use a 19 millimeter socket. And remove the wheel. I'm going to take this nut off, use a 32 millimeter socket. I'm just going to use a punch and just lightly tap. Just make sure that is loose. If you need to, there is special type adapters where you can push it in if it's frozen in there or even soak it with some rust penetrant. We're going to take this lower ball joint bolt out. Use a 15 millimeter wrench and an 18 millimeter socket for the nut. Take the nut off, grab the bolt, slide the bolt out. Now we need to pry the control arm down. They do make a special hook tool that you can go around the control arm and pry it down with a pry bar, or you can just use a exhaust clamp this on here. The nuts do not have to be tight. You just need to put a few threads on the nuts like that. Slide the pry bar through. I'll just pry this down. You may have to use a hammer and tap on it. Slide that out, out of the way. I'm just gonna pull the axle out. Slide that to the side. Now I'm going to pop the CV joint out of the transmission. I'm just going to use a fork. You could also use a pry bar, maybe even two pry bars if you need to. I'll just tap it. Just get it to separate. There you go. Now I'll use a pry bar. And just pry it out. Just got a drain bucket underneath in case any fluid comes out. And it came right out. I'm going to take the new axle, new CV axle, slide it in place. Might have to twist it back and forth a little bit. Just be careful of the seal. You don't want to hit the seal. It is a good idea to replace the seal, but sometimes you can do it without. Lined up. I'll take a rubber mallet, just give it a tap. There we go. It's all the way down. Just try pulling it out, make sure it's locked in place. That looks good. And pull the hub out a little bit. Slide the axle in place. Pry down on the lower control arm. Get the ball joint lined up. There we go. Take this tool off. Join a tap. Get that in place. Put the bolt in and the nut. And we'll snug that down. Using the wrench and a socket, I'm going to torque this nut and bolt to 61 foot pounds. Put the axle nut on, get that started. Just 
get that snug. I'm going to take a pry bar, put it in between the studs just so the hub doesn't spin while we're torquing it. We're going to torque the nut to 59 foot-pounds and then you want to go an additional 90 degrees. If you have a torque angle meter you can use that. If not, just use a crayon on your socket and just make the mark go 90 degrees. And that's 90 degrees, that's good. Now install the wheel. Put the lug nuts on. Tighten those down. Now we'll torque the lug nuts to 100 foot-pounds in a cross pattern to tighten the wheel down evenly. Go around again, double check. When only the best will do, demand TRQ. The only company that lets you view before you do. TRQ is committed to offering the highest quality aftermarket auto parts that are engineered for peace of mind. Thanks for using and viewing with TRQ.